I haven't done a garden video in quite a few weeks. We have zinnias just taking over everywhere. These yellow flowers just keep going on and on. But look at our mom! It's so beautiful! like a true chrysanthemum as to how I would think them to be. Aren't they beautiful? Got a zillion of these little skipper butterflies all over the garden. Just zinnias everywhere. The yellow flowers are still going at it. But then we have some sedum. Now I cut it way back. This used to be huge and we had a huge one in the backyard. And just got to be too much. But I still like it. And this attracts bumblebees. Look at them all. There's two more. I love this because it's like four colors. There's one color here, another one here, another one here, and another one here. So the zinnias go from this orange to this peachy color. I love this peachy color. almost a soft pink but more like a salmon I think and then we go into our purples and then into these deeper pinks with all the skippers Oops, there was two on there. <laughs> They're so funny looking. There's even some yellow ones in here. So yellow, purple, orange, salmon pink. I don't know what these fuzzy little things were. They were flowers, and I picked them. And there's some roses I uh, dried earlier in the year all in a little tray. I cut back our palm. It's just kind of sitting there. So we rearranged the uh, patio a little bit, and I have my fun display of pumpkins that I grew for myself. I need to water my uh, basil and chamomile. And <laughs> look how this has fallen down and I just love how it's just draping so pretty. Look how big that banana tree got in that pot. And there's another one right behind it. But the balsam is all done blooming. 
we just have one left blooming here with some zinnias but <laughs> I got these uh mushroomy things look at this I've got to get in here and pick this out <laughs> isn't that huge and ugly and there's even some more down there I don't know what causes those mushrooms to grow and then right here the asters are getting ready to bloom this whole thing is going to be full of purple before long and this it is so beautiful and it just doesn't show up on the camera. I've tried taking pictures of it like it looks. It's just a huge little area of zinnias. A couple more pumpkins that aren't quite oranged up yet over there. But anyway, these are really lovely can't tell you how great it looks these came out of the garden more zinnias the zinnias are kind of holding us steady there are some purple cone flowers here more zinnias everything is nice and trim there's a little Russian sage here and some more zinnias. I cut back the lemon balm and stuff. It's almost dry. Our holly has some berries getting ready to turn. Seed beds are all clean, but just you walk in here during the day, there's tons of butterflies. I don't know if you can see them flying around. Um, I did see one monarch yesterday. They love the zinnias. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're like flying all over around me and I just don't know if you can see them. Just a ton. There's a beautiful white one. Some of them are skippers. Some of them are bigger. That Coreopsis is still blooming. And back there is a mum. I'm ready to do mum things and we cut this way back the uh, grape is all the way to the ground um, it just got to be too much for us to handle so now we have one wisteria left up there roses blooming not a whole lot blooming back here Still some tall flocks, whatever these yellow flowers are. I got these from the conservation department. They're really pretty. I inadvertently cut them back, so there's not as many of them as there should be. Maybe next year I won't do that, but I don't know what they are. A few zinnias at the back of the yard. Now these little girlfriends, they have been going into my tomatoes. There's my tomato plants. Look, that's three plants. Can you believe it? How crazy? And they sneak in there and they eat them. See, I need to get out here and pick. I tell you, for like six weeks at least, I have been picking tomatoes off of here every single day and having to eat them every single day. See, there's some more clusters. Three plants. I'm going to buy these again next year. They're a Juliet or something.